Hello. Hello, Manuel. Welcome. Can you can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, it does. Good evening. Good evening. Oh wow, Juan Francisco, you are you have um you have a different uh, a different background. You are yeah. outside. Sorry. Outside? You are outside. Yes, teacher. I am in backyard. Oh, okay. In your backyard. Okay. Okay. It's just that I heard a lot of like I heard like cards. So I thought that maybe you were out on the street. I thought good maybe. evening. Hello, good evening, Marvin. How are you? Very good, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay, very good. Um, hello, Janet. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Very good. Good evening. Good evening, Anna Claudia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, finally, Friday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you going to rest on Monday? Uh, no. No. Uh... But um, it's going to be a very, very, uh, I know it's going to be a very slow day. Slow day. Um, that, uh, we were expected to have day off, but was possible, but at least. Uh, we're going to have half of the day. So we are two shifts and I'm going to work from 7 a.m. at noon and my other colleagues will work from uh, 12 to 5 p.m. So, uh, yes, yes, that was a, a great deal. <laughs> yeah, um, but you get paid the full day. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's good. No. That was a, a great deal. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Um, no, I'm expecting it to be a very slow day. Um, other days um, on Monday, they, uh, sorry, other um, holidays, mm -hmm. uh, they've been very, very slow. Like in the whole day, maybe I will receive like, I don't know, 10 calls. So oh. mm -hmm. regularly in a, so you are inbound, right? Yeah. Are uh, you inbound? Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. And regularly, how many calls do you handle on a daily basis? Well, actually, um, I'm not actually getting so many calls. I'm getting a lot of video video calls. Ah, OK. And I guess the handling time is long. I suppose every video call maybe is 20, 30 minutes. Um, most video calls are about 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. Yes, they are long. Yeah, but actually, you don't feel it. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know. I, I for me, it's hello, good evening. Good evening. Um, for me, yes, I, just, I imagine for you, it's like uh, been talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like so busy writing and talking that I'm like, wow. I look at the clock. Oh my goodness, it's already 15 minutes, and I haven't even noticed. So <laughs> that's good. It's not too bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody. Wow, I see so many people um, in in um, so many scenarios. Hello, good evening, Ivan. Okay, I, Ivan is um, in this house, and I don't know where <laughs> where it's um, located, but it's a very it's a very nice house. The background. Uh... <laughs> and the background is my my his, my daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Jerry looks like he's out, um, like uh, you are on vacation. Am I right? Yes, I'm I, home. I am on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're in the Cameron. <laughs> uh, if you listen at the, if you listen something like a pool at, at the background, it's because my daughter is swimming. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What if we want to do that? Like, okay, let's uh, let's just connect, you know, two hours to the class and then let's <laughs> <go for> swim. <laughs> that's wonderful. 
Okay, good. Well, guys, I'm so glad you are uh, enjoying your uh, Friday. It looks like you guys are having fun for the weekend. Okay, so I'm glad to hear that. Um, hello, Fabiola, welcome. How are you, Fabiola? How are you feeling? I'm fine, Tisha. Yeah, better, the same, or worse? Just better. Better, okay, good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. That's good news. Okay. Thanks, Tisha. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, um, okay, guys. So um, today, uh, what we're going to do is uh, start, as always, we're going to begin with our attendance. So let me get it out. Okay, so Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful. Andres? No, right? I don't see Andres. Okay. Edgar? No. Uh, Janet? Present teacher. Okay. Fabiola? Present. Wonderful. Heidi? No, right? Okay. Irene? Irene? No. Okay. Ivan? Sorry, I hear. I get present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Um, Johnny? No, still no signs of Johnny, huh? Okay, all right. Josue? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, jury? Present teacher. All right, great. Carla? No, can't see Carla. Uh, Melissa? No, Melissa's not here. Uh, Luis? Luis? No? Yeah, no, Luis. All right. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Present. All right, wonderful. Uh, and Marvin? Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Um, and Wendy? No, when? Oh, yes. Wendy? Present. Oh, one Present. Of, yes, I got, I got you. Thank you, Wendy. Werner? Werner not here? Okay. Yvonne? Present. All right, welcome. And Thank you. Um, Francisco? No? Okay. And Jenny? No. Okay. Let me just quickly mention the people I didn't hear. Andres, Edgar, Heidi, Irene, Johnny, Carla. Melissa, Luis, Werner, Francisco, Jenny. Okay. All right. I guess that's it then. Okay. In that case, guys, um, let's begin. Um, so I'm going to um okay so i'm going to be starting first of all with our powerpoint presentation and as always please let me know if you can see it yes teacher okay. yes. wonderful well suddenly this up oh. <laughs> <Those are there. laughs> it's there now. Okay. All right. So uh, beginner module six, unit one, job listing. Of course, this is our last day with this unit. 
The date is Friday, May 28th, 2021, and it's day number five, your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so yesterday I asked you to complete um, the, jo the job application in a separate form. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be completing a job application, but with our partner. So you're gonna work in pairs, join your assigned breakout room, ask your classmates questions to complete this application, this job application. So this one right here, okay? So I want you to complete the job application form that is in your manual with the information from your classmate. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. So fill out the application form using the information your classmate has provided you. So you're going to ask your partner, for example, what, oh, sorry, what question would you ask your partner if you wanted to ask, uh, if you wanted to get the information about, um, for example, um, position applied for. What, what question would you ask your partner to complete this information? Position applied for. What question do you say? All the ones that are there, name, Last name. Uh -huh. well, tell me what, what question would you ask your partner to get this information? May I have please your name? Okay, good. But what about the position ap applied for? What position are you applying for? Good. What is your experience? What position, position are you applying? That would be the question you would ask okay. to get this information, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and yes, just like um, Ana Claudia mentioned, you would say, uh, what is your full name? Okay, for an address? What well, question would you ask for an address? Of course. But what question would you ask your partner to get that information? Can you, you provide your do you address? Okay, good. And I love the fact that you are being very polite. And that's that's exactly what we should be doing. Because we are interviewing a person that we really don't know very well, we should be as polite as possible. So you can say, uh, um, for example, could you provide me with your address, right? Something like that, right? And so on, right? Um, to get, what about to get um, the driver's license? What a question would you ask for, for the driver's license? Can you drive? Okay, can you drive? Okay, what else? What other question could you ask? Uh, she, she or he say yes, you can ask the, the drive license. Okay. We don't, we don't know. Yeah, okay, the, 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 the driver's, the, 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 the number, the driver license number, yeah, could be. But what other question could you ask instead of can you drive? What is your driver's license number? Okay, but if you want to, because we don't know if the person has a driver's license. Ah, do you have a driver's license? Exactly. Do you have a driver license? Okay. So what I'm, what I'm, um, what I want you to understand with this is that there, there's no one question. There's no one question that you can ask. Sometimes you can ask. Uh, questions in a different way to get that same information, right? The important thing is that you ask the question, okay? And try to make it as professional as possible, right? Um, if you, to get employment history, 
uh, you could ask, what, what could you ask to get the employment history? Mm -hmm. What question could you ask, guys? To get the employment history. Chicos? Would, would you like to describe your, your last job? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Would you like, would you to describe your last job? Okay. Sure. Or, um, or you can ask, for example, could, could you tell me, tell me about your previous um, employment or um, your previous, um, your previous jobs, you can say, your previous jobs. Okay. Yeah, things like that. You can ask, but there's there are different ways you can ask, right? Okay. And um, what what could you ask about education? Where did you study? Okay, where did you study? Could be. Mm -hmm. What else? Anything else that you can ask? I don't know if it's correct. What is your educational background? What mm -hmm. is your educational level? Okay. What is your educational background? Or you could ask, for example, what is the highest level of education? You completed. So there. So what I'm trying to show you with this is that you can ask things in different ways. The important thing is that I want you to get all of this information from your classmates and try to make it as professional as possible. So don't try to make it as if you were in an interview and you are you know, trying to find out information from this person to see if they are qualified for the job. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, guys, so are you ready? Okay. Um, I'm going to get you to work in pairs. Um, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see, just give me one second. Okay. All right, so I'm going to open up with this. Um, it should take you a while. So I'm going to give you, I would say, about 20, 20 minutes. And at 20 minutes, I will evaluate if you guys need more time. Because remember, you need to be asking your classmates. Okay. So um, all right, so let's open the rooms. You can go ahead.
poco más fácil. Tiene la teacher. Uh -huh. Bueno. Eh, yo fue o mi. Eh, you. Me encanta la oh, foto. Oh, 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 Hello. Hello, teacher. No, que le digo que me, me encanta la foto que me, que, que me agarraron. ¿Por qué ah. no? no. <risa> Estaba comiendo. ¿Ah? Estaba comiendo, ¿qué? No, Hablando. No, ajá. Ah. No, me, me en, el en el preciso momento que parecía como que se estuviera comiendo. Ajá, es que parecía que estaba comiendo. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, all right. So, do we understand what we're going to be doing? No, teacher. Tenemos que entrevistar, de acuerdo a la solicitud, hacer las preguntas para la, la aplicación de trabajo, ¿no? En inglés, en inglés. Ok. Uh, we ask uh, to, uh, to another guy uh, this question this in the application for employment for example uh, what is her name uh, where her live um that's the idea i mm -hmm. think so exactly yeah uh, yeah you're so you to complete the information in in the application form in your manual about for example you are going to complete it for Janet and Janet is going to complete it for mm -hmm. Ivan. Okay, so, so you write down the information. You will have a right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because you already did yours for homework, you did yours. Right? Ya la completaron. La la de ustedes mismos ya lo completaron. Entonces ahora van a completar lo del compañero. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Ivan, uh, um, the first, um, me. Oh, okay. I, uh, I go first. Uh, Can you uh, tell me the your security number? My security number is. Five, five. Yeah. Uh, two, four, uh -huh. four. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, do you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, can you tell me the number of your driver's license? My driver's license is number is seven one zero zero seven one zero 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 four one four one. Okay. Four one four one. Okay. Uh, sex female. 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 Uh, could you provide your day, date of birth? Day of birth? Uh, September 4. September 4. One, 189. 89. September 4th? I <laughs> teacher. Uh, me too. <laughs> Use the time teachers. I know. <laughs> you lie. Uh, 19. 19. <laughs> Eighty, eighty, nineteen. No, uh, almost nineteen. Eight. Nineteen, eight, eight. Ah, okay, nineteen, eight, 
eight nineteen. No. ¿Cómo, how do you say ochenta y nueve en inglés? Eighteen. No. Eighty. Eighty nine. Eighty eighty nine. Yeah. 90, 89. 90, 89. No, no, not 90. 90, 90, 89, no, porque si no, es un time traveler. Oh. <laughs> oh. Es 19. Es 19. 19. 80, ah, 1989. 19, okay. 1989. 1989. Uh -huh. Ok. <laughs> ok. <laughs> es que mire, en nuestra casa tenemos time travelers y expats. <laughs> ay, teacher. I, I, ay, no, teacher. Me cuesta. Me cuesta la ficha. But just think, just divide the two numbers. 19 and then whatever, right? 1989. 1992. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19
a teen is an adolescent. Okay. So what we do is that we stress the word the the syllable teen. So we say thirteen. 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 Fifteen. Okay. Fourteen. Fifteen. Not fifteen. It's fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Sixteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Okay. Now with these ones, these are these are all. Um, they are. Higher numbers. And what we do is we try, we emphasize or we stress not the ending, but the beginning. So in these ones, we stress the ending. These ones, we stress the first syllable. So we say 30, 30, 30. 40. 40. 40. This is 50. 50. 50. This is 60. 60. This is 70. 70. 70. This is 80. 80. 80. This is 90. 90. 90. Okay. So Excellent see. teacher. Thank you. So for these ones, we stress the teen. For these ones, we stress the beginning. Okay. The first syllable. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, my, my day of birth is September 4, uh, 1989. Perfect. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Excellent. You deserve one of these. <laughs> All right. Okay, very, very good. Okay. Solo por eso la voy a contratar. Okay. Okay, then conti continue. Pretend I'm not here. Ignore me. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, uh, could you provide your security, the, so your social security? Okay. Okay, let me see. Oops, sorry, I'll, I'll do something here. In the inventory. In the inventory. Okay. Well, well done. We finished this this job application in your case. I don't know we, we are okay. going to, I guess okay. I guess we are we are going to to fill both applications, right? Okay. Now it's my turn. Okay. Um, good evening. Good evening. Uh, what's your name? It's Jury Ventura. Okay. And uh, what position are you applying for? Uh, 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 we recruiting. Person, ah, recruiting. Recruiting. Uh -huh. Recruiting. Different kind of personal for pos different kind of position in the company ah, okay. and doing um, planillas. I don't know how can I say in English, planillas. Teacher, aquí está la teacher. <laughs> Help us con... Payroll, payroll. Payroll, ah, okay. Payroll, okay. okay. Uh, doing payroll in, in different kind of activities with person, like training, train to person, induction, 
and recruit, 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 activity is about recruitment, yes. Oh, awesome. And what was the other one? So the, the current job uh, is the one that you are right now. Yes. Now, from, and that goes from? From to 2012 uh -huh. to, to nowadays, uh -huh. I'm working in Fruit of the Loom. I'm a um, human resources coordinator. Okay. And my principal, my main activities are something like my last job, recruiting person, train different kind in different areas, different areas and provide to different kind of process to a person, for example, and motive uh, activities about motivation okay. and complain different procedures, policies about the company. Procedures. Procedures and verify about um, policies about okay. the, the company. Okay. Awesome. And that is located in La Libertad o Santa Ana. La Libertad. Ah, okay. De Ciudad Arce. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. 2012. Okay, 2012. Okay, what's the, what's the name of the company? Uh, the name is Fruit of the Loom El Salvador. Oh, the Loom. The Loom. Okay. The address is the address. Sal I, okay, okay. The address is Ciudad Arce La Libertad. Ciudad Arce. What's the title of the, your, your job? Uh, the first is trainer trainer of production. Production. A trainer of product, product, production. Of production. Production. Production area. Or production trainer. Oh, yeah, production. Production trainer. Right now, okay. Trainer. Um, uh, what was, I don't know, where? What were your duties? Uh, the duties is training operators. Could you repeat again, please? Training operators. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry to interrupt. Um, we are we are coming up to the 20, uh, 20 minute mark. Do we need more time? Yeah, because. Uh, I need to have an interview with Fabiola. Okay, okay. I just wanted to know uh, how many more minutes? Um, five. Five minutes? Yeah, please. All right, okay, sounds good. Five minutes. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay, Manuel. Uh, okay, the okay. other girl. Could you how? Okay. How she be be uh, with her parents could be the exactly expression. Uh, but sorry to interrupt, guys. Uh, do we need a little bit more time? No. No. Finish. No. Finish. Oh. I already hired her. You interviewed each other. You wrote all of the information. For each other? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Well, just continue talking then while I go to the other um, the other uh, groups and help them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bye. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Then, um, she is very responsible. Pero en esa no. No sé.
Okay. Teacher, we have we have very very uh, three doubts. Okay. Uh, how how do you say uh, licencia particular in English? Licencia particular. Yes. Um. You have three three different license uh, par particular, liviana y pesada. But how can I say uh, licencia particular in English? Oh, you mean uh, you mean for like a driver's license, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I would say that's like a, a standard, a, a standard uh, driver's license. Standard. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about the others? Uh, Liviana, Pesada. Um, that would be uh, like a, we would normally say like a, a driver's license uh, for, um, it could be like a, a an S, no, that would be an SUV. It would be a, a truck, a truck driver's license. Eso sería, no, this is la, the heavy, la pesada. And the intermediate. Mm, the thing I Liviana think, is for for pickups, uh, microbuses, and 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 the other la, la pesada is for trucks. Uh, yeah, I think the community. thing is I I don't think there is very much of a difference between um, like in 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 other parts of the world like the United States. I don't think there's a difference between uh driving a, a truck like a like a pickup truck and driving a sedan you could it with your the same driver's license you can drive both but for mm -hmm. a truck then like for example with those big trucks that you would have to have a special license for but the other one's not really that would just be like a standard driver's license okay and other teacher, uh, when you are in the university, you have the, the degree of bachelor, but what degree do you get when you finish high school? A high school diploma. Oh, um, it's not, a, it's not a, a name like, like here, uh, you are a bachelor, for example. No, we don't have those types. In, in fact, in English, like in the English speaking world, we don't really use very much of those titles. Like, for example, licenciado tal. We don't, we don't use that. That doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really exist. You would never call someone licenciado fulano in English. Mm. It doesn't exist. Those, those titles don't really exist, except the only one, the only title that we do use is doctor. Oh. Okay. Dr. Fulanito, right? That, that's the only one. But other than that, like licenciado, ingeniero, no, we don't use those titles. And menos bachiller. Ah, okay. Okay, perfecto. And the last doubt, teacher. Uh, I heard sometimes when you said, I don't know if a word or it's, a, if it's an expression, uh, you said something like, Percival or something like that at the beginning and I, I don't know. No, uh, you said that that word, that expression, when we are starting something, uh, it's like Percival or first or I, I don't know. Oh, first of all. Ah. First of all. Primero que nada. First of all. I'll write it in the chat. Ah. First of all. 
Primero que nada. Okay. I, I heard first of all, or first of all, something like that, bro. Yeah, it's because of this, uh, of how fast I say it, right? It's first of all. Okay, but I, I know, I know. Yes, yes, you do now. Okay. Are okay. you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Okay, I'll see you guys in the breakout, in the main room, okay? Okay. Hello, Carlita. Hello, teacher. I'm really sorry. I'm very late. Sorry, sorry. What happened? Uh, a terrific traffic. Uh, terrible traffic. Terrible traffic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really sorry, teacher. But I'm here. Late, but I'm here. Yeah. That's okay. All right. Um, Carla, I have a question. You have children, right? Yeah, I have two children. But you live also with your with your um, nephews. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, with my why teacher? No, it's just that the other day I I don't know where you went. <gasps> you went to the bathroom, and then um, they they took over. And I really? Was, oh my god! And then I asked. I said. Um, I said, is your, is your mom there? She's like, and they're like, my mom. And I said, yeah, is your mommy there? And they said, no, you, you mean my aunt? Oh yeah, I guess so. I said, you know, so I, I figured you lived with your, your yeah, he is my, oh. yeah, my uh -huh. but they, they were having, they were having a wonderful time with, you know, with, the, <laughs> yeah, with the, the, the class. They just, they were <laughs> sorry. <just> <laughs> Oh no! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> um, all right, well, guys. Um, so you had an opportunity of uh, interviewing your partner, getting all the information. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did you feel with this activity? Were you able to uh, feel like you were in a job interview and like kind of getting prepared? For a job interview? Yes, yes, really. I enjoy it a lot to talking a lot with Irene. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I was saying to her that she's very talkative. My goodness, I love that. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. excellent. What about the rest of you? How did you feel? Were was it difficult? Were you nervous? Was well, how did you feel? Nervous. It was interesting to feel like a human resource employee. <laughs> employee. You you enjoyed the part of feeling in charge, you know. And <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, I live it because yeah. Irene is a human resource uh, administrator, so um, she was taking notes and asking me a lot. <laughs> oh, she was really in her role. She's like, yes, I know how to do this. <laughs> okay. Oh my, poor Anna. <laughs> okay. All right, good. I'm glad you guys were able to have this opportunity because that's what you really are. Like, that's what we're training you for. You know, it, like I said, even if you're not applying for another job, like another in another company, but you might be applying for uh, another position in the company and they're still going to do an interview. So this is very important in any type of situation. Um, you know, any anytime you want to uh, move up, it's important that you know how to do this. Okay, very good, guys. Um, we're going to move on now to the next part. Okay, so everybody's here with me. Oh, actually, hold on. A sec, wait. Sorry. Um, before no, sorry, my mistake. I forgot. It, first of all, the first thing I want you guys to do is the following. Um, I want, we're, I'm going to be assigning you now into groups of three. In your groups of three, you're going to discuss what do you think makes a good manager? What characteristics do you believe makes a good manager? 
Okay. Now you can think about the characteristics that your managers have had in the past that you've liked. And you can also think about the things that you have seen that you definitely don't like, and you think that's that you would like it to be different. So I want you to discuss, I want you to come up with, um, you know, at least about five things that you would say is are the most important things uh, for to be a good manager. So I'm going to give you, um, you know, about three minutes to discuss with your classmates, the, the important characteristics of um, a good manager and you have to decide with the three the three of you have to decide on five characteristics no more no less so in three minutes come up with the top five okay got it yes yes yeah, we understand we understand perfectly what we're going to be doing yes teacher for me okay good yes. Okay, um, all right, so I'm going to open it up. You're going to be in groups of three or four. Okay, and um, I'm only going to give you, I would say, three minutes. Okay, so go ahead and discuss with your open up. I'm going to open up the groups and discuss with your classmates. Here we go. Wendy, you there? Yes, teacher, I have a problem uh, with my work. Sorry, uh, no. solo solucionando algo aquí de mi trabajo, teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, I think, what else do you think? Good leader. I'm sorry? Good leader. Ah, good leader. Good leader. That's right. And Irene, the human okay. resources specialist. <laughs> I, I think that it's necessary to be an excellent manager and develop in respect about the people ah okay okay respect okay and, and manage manage your 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 personal about your 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 team the, ah your the team. team okay manage man, como el manejo de personal ability Lead. about leader uh -huh. ah, ability so lead. about about uh, yes okay and uh, teacher if we want to say that that person must have empathy how do can we use the word empathic or is that sympathy. huh sympathy ah sympathy, sympathy. ah okay sympathy yes i'll, I'll write it down uh-huh mm. yes and she was asking. Mm. Uh, sympathy makes uh, makes people to have empathy with others. Okay. Empathy is to be in the foots of the other, right? Empathy. Sorry, what was the question? E empathy is to be in the foot of the other. I mean, if there is a situation I can understand because I'm in the same place, 
like I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> like in the same place, like the the other. Empatía, tener empatía, pues. Ponerse en el lugar de otro. En el lugar de otro, vaya. Put yourself in the other person's um, the other person's shoes. Ah, es un de decir que, por ejemplo, ponerse en los zapatos del otro. Mm -hmm. ah. Por eso, entonces, si decimos, queremos decir que tiene que tener empatía, usamos sim sympathy. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. The person is sympathetic. Ah, sympathetic. Would you please write it so we can get it? Sympathetic. Sympathetic. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Suena casi apatético. <laughs> sympathetic. Okay. Sympathetic. Okay, sympathetic. So we need to design all that the ones we say, the first five. And so think... we can say sympathetic, the first one. No. Yeah. yeah the, the first one is uh, empa yeah, empathy, 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 okay. empathy, empathy with, with the employees, the employees, okay. the second, experience, the jury say experience, hello teacher, hello, uh, remember it's empathetic, not empathetic, uh, empathetic, yes. empathetic, okay, Em, empa, empa. Could you uh, write in the chat? What is the second? Uh, experience. 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 Experience in the process. In the area, I can ah, say. Yeah. Ah. And number three, now, now how to listen to your employees. Teacher, is correct. Oh, oh, what do you say? Saber escuchar a los empleados. Be able to listen to the employees. Be able, okay. Be able. Mm. Be able. Be able to listen. ¿Cómo? Yes, be able. ¿Cómo, cómo se escribe? Oh. Be, be able to. to listen. Viable. O oh, viable. Able to be able. Be able. Ah. Yes. be able to be able to listen. To employees. Employees. Number four, Carla. Number four. Be leader. Not a boss. Not a boss. Are you almost ready? Uh, I, I, no. The no, list no. is very long, I think, but. <laughs> Only five. Ah, okay. Five characteristics. Number five. Uh, of the personnel of the department. They don't know. Uh, teacher, teacher, uh, we have a doubt. How do you say favoritismos? Favoritisms. 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 
sons. Favoritism. You want me to write it in the chat? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Favoritism. Are you guys ready? Favoritism. Yes. 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 Okay, good. All right. See you guys in the main room then. Thank you. Bye. Soy insertive. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good later, teacher. <laughs> I don't know. Assertive. Uh, good afternoon. Assertive. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> yes, teacher. Good morning. Proactive. Are you almost ready? Um, Not yet. <laughs> Okay, try, try to, well, just try to sum up because uh, you have about 20 seconds left, okay? So, okay. try to sum it up. Right. A leader must be fired. A leader must be fired. Uh, is, uh, Okay, all right, guys, very good. Okay, so I want you guys to share with me what you wrote or what did you decide were the five most important um, traits for a good uh, manager. All right, let's start with uh, group number one with uh, Ana Claudia, Andres, Janet, and Irene. Who would like to share? What did you decide were the five most important? Ana Claudia. Irina was about to be. <laughs> Maybe I just grow. Uh, we decide, teacher, uh, uh, a, a manager must be sympathetic. You say, right? Sympathetic. Okay. Uh, also, the second, uh, need to have technology knowledge and management. It also needs to have good communication skills. It also needs to be a good leader. And also needs to have the ability to manage people. Okay, very good. So sympathetic, mm -hmm. uh, tech savvy, mm -hmm. uh, Good communicator? Yes, good communication skills. Uh -huh. Okay. A uh, good leader. Good leadership. Uh -huh. and and leadership, uh -huh. And the ability to manage with uh, people. Okay, so and manage people. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Thank you very much. All right, jury, um, Carla, Manuel, and Marvin are group number two. Who would like to share your top five? Carla, please. Okay. Uh, 
the manager must be empathetic with the employees and experience, and communication, a leader, not a boss, and teamwork. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so you said um, empathetic, have experience, um, be a good communicator. Yep. Um, be a leader, not a boss, you said, and teamwork. Okay, good. All yeah, right, yeah. number three, we had uh, Ivan, Juan Francisco, and Suleima, who would like to share. Um, I can, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Yvonne. Okay. Uh, for us, a good leader uh, have to be uh, uh, a good leader. Um, empathy, proactive, a good human relationships, and a good leader have to transmit clear objectives uh, to the staff. And the things that we don't like in a, in a, in a, in a boss is uh, the people that don't like to give uh, permissions, uh, work overtime without a pay, a favorite favoritism and uh, people that don't lead with the example and uh, people that don't don't know the work of the personnel of the department do. Okay, thank you very much, Yvonne. All right, so. Um, I hear that the bet, the top qualities and for a good manager would be leadership, uh, being empathetic, proactive, um, having good human relations, and giving uh, clear objectives. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. All right. And the last group is uh, Fabiola. Josue, Wendy, and Werner. Who's going to be our spokesperson? Okay, teacher. All right, Fabiola, go ahead. Uh, good leader, good listener, proactive, assertive, ability to change, Innovate. What is the pronunciation? Innovator. 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 E only that. Okay. Could you repeat them again? You said uh, good leader. What else? Good listener. Proactive. Assertive. Ability to share. And that was like the same as innovator, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good, excellent. Okay. okay, very good guys, thank you very much. Something I noticed um, is that there are some skills or some uh, qualities that all of you mentioned or many of you mentioned. And so, uh, one of the first ones that comes to mind that everybody mentioned actually, yes, everybody, yes, everybody mentioned, was to be a good leader, right? So everybody agrees that being a good leader is important, right? The other thing is that I noticed was uh, being sympathetic or empathetic, right? That was also something that uh, the majority of you mentioned. I also heard um, proactive. Right, being proactive was the other one. And the other one that you also had in common was 
having good communication skills. Yeah. So would you say that those would be like the top qualities for a, a manager? Yeah. More or less. So would you say that in general, being sympathetic or empathetic, a good leader, good communication skills and proactive? That's what I noticed in general, all of you guys had in common, right? Or the majority of you had in common. So that's interesting, it's interesting. Okay, all right, very good. Now, what we're gonna do is the following. I'm going to be dividing you guys into groups. Actually, I'm gonna divide you into five groups, three people each. And I'm going to give you, actually, I'm going to divide you into the groups and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to visit each group very quickly and I'm going to write in the chat certain information. And I want everybody to be able to read. Everybody in the group is going to read that information and analyze it. Okay. Any words that are new for you, um, any um, pronunciation, vocabulary that uh, you're not sure about. And also about the context in general. What do you think about it? What is your opinion about the context in general? Got it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So let's um, recreate the groups. Give me a second. Okay. So. Um, if it, just join your group and like I said, I'm going to quickly go to each group and I'm going to give you the information. So just give me a moment while I get to your group, okay? okay All right, so um, I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes to do this activity. So let's open up the groups and you can join. Okay, guys, so okay. I'm going to drop in the chat. Here are the information. There you go. Okay, you can go ahead and read the information as a group. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, teacher, a question. Uh, go, we're going to read this information and going to discuss about that? Yes, discuss new words, new vocabulary, pronunciation, and the context. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I love this. Here you go. It's in the chat so you can read it. Okay. Look okay. at new words, look for new vocabulary, look for um, a pronunciation questions or anything like that, and discuss the context if you agree with it. Okay. Okay, teacher. Una palabra en específico. Yeah, anything. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. También. Bueno. Okay, guys. So um, I'm dropping in the chat the information. There you go. Ah, okay. Okay. So you can read that information. The number three. Yeah, ah. Is the information that is in the reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's in the chat right now. So you can read that information. Mm. New word, any new vocabulary, um, the pronunciation questions and the context itself. Okay. okay. And we are going to write the, the words uh, we don't understand in the general chat or here? No, 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 just discuss. As ah, okay. okay, okay, okay. All right. Por temporadas. Hello. Um, okay, so I'm going, to, I'm going to write in the chat right now. Here are the information I want you to discuss. Okay, look at the information. Uh, look for new vocabulary, 
new uh, any pronunciation questions and um, and discuss the context if you agree with it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Read and analyze, teacher. Read and analyze. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. See you. No tengo traffic marshal. Hi, teacher. Hi, okay. guys. Okay. So I'm going to write in the chat right now. Okay. Okay. The information you need to discuss. Okay. The best lead by a sample marks uh, managers are required to advance in the position. Okay. So you uh, read it as a group. Is it, is it, is it number five, teacher? Read it, read as a group uh, and um, analyze vocabulary, analyze uh, pronunciation, and uh, analyze the context. Okay? Okay. 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 Bueno, prácticamente el párrafo que tenemos que, que leer. Que leer. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, the best manager led by example. Uh, in the película. We are going to talk about that in English. Uh, that is the idea that Klingon, Klingon, I guess. And no, not so you remember it the same way? Not so. Tal vez sea de la misma película. No. Uh, no, no. But if yeah. you see, if you see the context that uh, if you are better with computer than people and you understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for all managerial team. Quiere decir que si tú eres, si tú entiendes mejor el Klingon que el inglés, no eres otro. Hi, you asked for help. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Uh, we had thought okay. about what we had to do. Read the information from the chat. Les mandé en el chat la información. Read the okay. information, discuss the information to see what you think about it. Look at new vocabulary, pronunciation. Okay? Um, Discuss the, the... Discuss the information in the chat. Um, okay? Okay, teacher, okay. thank you. Okay, teacher, thanks. Eh, uh, no, es que existía una confusión si íbamos a buscar, era un ejemplo aparte de este. Es, no, okay, no. teacher, sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Teacher, okay. only a practice? Oh, the other, the other. But the information that I mandé in the chat. Lean and analyze it. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Eso era todo, señores. And who is first in technically sure. Sure. Teacher, technically no, the, proficient? The word is proficient. How do you pronounce Profi proficient? Proficient. proficient. With O, proficient. 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 And technically, technically, the stress is the first technically. Okay, uh, the other one we have does, oh, strategies, strategies or is, is how do you pronounce strategies? Strategies. Uh, strategies. Yeah, strategies. 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 Guidance, guidance, technical guidance. Guidance. Guidance? Guidance. Ah, pues sí, guidance. Eh, 
Mm. Methods. Mm -hmm. ¿Es methods, methods o cómo es? Method, teacher. Or method. 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 Okay. And, and, and success or success? Success. Ah, success. And we don't know if this is an idiom. Uh, March of the Penguins. Because I don't know if. How do you pronounce it? Linux or Linux? Because that is a operating system. Right. Linux. Linux. Uh -huh. Linux. 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 Ah, okay. Linux. And when it says, when you get the March of the Penguins, is that an idiom or is because the penguin is the image? I think for... it's, a, it's a name, it's a name of the movie. Happy ah. Feet and March of the Penguins. I think mm. it's a movie. Ah, okay. That is correct. Ah, okay, thank you. Movie. You see, I don't Linus. go to, to, to watch movies. <laughs> but see, this is what's so great about working at, uh -huh. like, right? Because what you don't know, uh -huh. someone else knows, and what someone else doesn't know, you know. <laughs> yes. Ah, the word. Proficient, así, proficient. Proficient. Como, ah, proficient. Yes, proficient. Proficient. Hmm? Proficient. Proficient. Eh, we, maybe we are a little confused. Would you please explain us the meaning of proficient or are you going to explain it in the classroom? Proficient? Mm -hmm. uh, proficient is somebody that um it, that is um that is knowledgeable somebody that knows a lot about a certain topic okay somebody someone that have a lot of for experience yeah exactly okay okay are you girls ready yes okay. all right i'll see you girls in the in the main room okay Okay. Teacher is here again. Surprise. Okay. Okay. So everybody, um, I hope you all had opportunity to read the information, analyze it, uh, make sure you understand the vocabulary. Yes. Yeah. Everybody. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, guys, I forgot se nos pasó la hora and I didn't take our attendance, so let's do that right now. Okay. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Andres? Present teacher. Right. Uh, Edgar? Etsy? Janet? Present teacher. Fabiola? Present teacher. Katie? Katie? No? Okay. Um, Irene? Present teacher. Mm, wonderful. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Great, Johnny. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jerry. Present teacher. All right. Um, Carla. Present teacher. All right. Um, Melissa? Melissa? Uh, Luis? Emanuel? Present teacher. Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? 
Present teacher. Uh, Werner? Present teacher. Francisco? Jenny? Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. So, what we're going to do now is the following. Va. Ahora todos son versados en la información que les di, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. So, you know it like. You know it super well, right? Because you discussed it, you read it, you discussed it. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create, uh, we're going to create now new groups, okay? And these new groups are going to be, I'm going to be creating these new groups um, with people, with different people. And what's going to happen is you're going to be, uh, we're going to make a group with people that have different information so that when we come together, you're going to share the information that you read. Does that make sense? See? Uh, it's repeat again. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Well, I'm going to make three groups. In the three groups, you're going to be having five or better, five people in each group. The five people from the groups are going to have different information because each person is going to have been in the previous, in the previous um, group, they were looking at different information. So what you're going to do is in your groups, you're going to share the information that you read, but you're not going okay. to, you're not going to be reading. You're going to be explaining. Okay. No quiero que se los lean. Quiero que se los expliquen. That's the idea to explain mm -hmm. what you read. Okay. Yeah. So what okay. you understand, what you remember, try to explain it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. Good. All right. Let's see if I can. Vamos a ver acá. Ok. Deme un momentito porque tengo que asegurarme que tenga todo, o sea, que los ponga bien a todos. Um, ok. Déjenme un momentito, déjenme ver cómo voy a hacer esto. In the meantime, you can continue reading the information so you have it perfectly clear in your head. Okay. Mientras que estoy haciendo eso, pueden volver a leerlo porque la idea no es de que quiero que lean la información. No quiero que sea leído, quiero que lo expliquen.
Okay. Bah. Yes, done. Okay. So we understand uh, the instructions, right? Everybody understands what to do? Yes, teacher. Yes? It's all clear? Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to open up the groups. I'm going to give you only about 10 minutes. In the 10 minutes, I want you to share the information with your classmates. Explain, okay? Here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Looking for managers uh, that should be comfortable with conflict resolution and he needs to motivate the team. And I just that I don't remember more. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who was in the second one? Me. Ah, oh, okay. Explain it. Be, be a good communicator. Um, uh, communicator effective. Um, I have good communication um you will require and and the, this these people uh should be a manager man, managerial team for example they're looking for person who enjoy work conflict resolution and know how people work and know how to motivate different kind of teams. teams. For example, these people should be, should have different abilities and skills for to be excellent leaders, leaders. And and then they can be a people person. That means people person significa persona sociable in español. I don't know if you you under si me doy a entender. Yes. Yes. yes I do. Okay. okay. <laughs> only only that. Okay. Um. Um. I am, I am ready to, to powerful and be okay. a good communicator. Okay. Mm. And we had, we had thought, thought about um, uh, the, um, the, a good communicator uh, should should be should have a different a different ability. Um, for example, um, public uh, public speaking on uh, uh, talk to face uh, face to face. And he had a good communication with other person and <clears throat> uh, uh, he, he had a uh, 
technology in in universal universal object. Uh, number three. I the, to read it. Uh, the technically proficient. Uh, Noxor, uh, I think, is a company of technology. And the product of the Noxor are technically complicated. And people uh, should be able to be guidance and decide uh, the best strategies and methods for the success of the company. And we need to be uh, proficient and technically to work in language. Um, sorry, guys, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, remember, the idea with this is to explain, not to read. So it would probably be best not to have the presentation of the of the article, but just listen to your classmates. Okay? Yeah, does that make sense? It, because okay. that way you are able to um, discuss, because the idea is we're going to be reading later, but I want you guys to listen to your classmates and discuss. That This is the first part. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay, and uh, only for full knowledge, uh, proficient es como una persona capacitada, es competente. Um, and I, I don't know, well, I think it's, it's all. Uh, and on weekends, right? Yeah. Uh working late or work on weekends. Mm, it says. He sacrificed her time. Workaholic, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys finished? <laughs> huh? Are you finished or are you, are you still discussing? No, we finished. We've been discussing. Yeah. Huh? Finish. Okay, so you have covered all the five areas? Yes. Yeah, yes. and do you agree or not so much? <laughs> Have you talked about that? Have you discussed it as a group? Not yet. Not yet? Yeah, we are agreeing with, with the paragraph or the sentences. Okay. Yes, that is what this enterprise is looking for. Uh -huh. That is the job listing they are posting, right? And we've been talking about that the last uh, sentence when it says and doing the right thing thing that yeah. means to be an honest person uh, doing things by the book i guess that is what it's referring right yeah exactly yeah knowing what's wrong what's right from wrong right and doing not what's wrong but what was right it's required huh okay yes working with uh, this kind of companies that i've been working with i know that if you like, for example, to get sales or to achieve your goal, mm -mm, it's prohibited. And it's like, a, and we here in Latin America, it's like, hey, Marcelo, total. <laughs> so for other countries, it's a big mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so go ahead, talk about that. You have about one more minute left. Okay, so. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, the paragraph, the paragraph that I read is number five, and the leader understand was the manager is the and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. In this case, uh, for me, the best manager is the same or, or show the same the her employers. For example, she used the same uh, parking, the same washroom, the same thing 
as your employees because is the is the team is it, not different the other the other person in the office for example uh, the bad uh, manager is uh, use other 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 things uh, Take or take a coffee in other places, for example, and uh, eating eat a other uh, a other lunch. But the best manager, no, is the same of the other people, and especially uh, your employees. Okay, you guys had her enough time? Yeah? Okay, yes. so what do you guys yes, think teacher. from the information that you read and the information you discussed and the information you heard from your classmates, do you agree with uh, the what makes a good manager? Yes, yes. we agree. Yes, we agree. Yes, teacher. From the five things that you discuss, what do you think is the most important? Lead by example. Lead by example. Yeah, do you all agree with that? Yes. Okay. Encourage teamwork. Okay. Encourage teamwork. Okay. Good. Encourage teamwork. Okay, good, excellent. All right, guys, very good. Um, so now you guys have all noticed that the information was taken from our manual. So let's go ahead now and read this information about being a perfect manager. Okay, in the first one, it's talking about being a people person. Now, um, I would like you guys in this art in this what we're gonna do just for this time uh, we're not gonna be reading it because we already we already read it we've discussed it so all I need you guys to do right now is uh, write in the chat any vocabulary words that you don't understand. From number one, only from number one, guys. Okay, so I think that's it. All right, so being a people person. Okay, this is an expression that we use. Being a people's person is being a person that can work with other people. That's what it means, okay? So some people are people person in the sense that um, they they love to, uh, to be, they have very good relationships, like uh, very good, um, human relationships, right? So 
um, you are able to easily interact with other people. That's what it means to be a people person. Does that make sense? Yes, no? Yes. 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 Okay, good. All right, excellent. Now, um, Clinton is actually, uh, sorry, Clinton is actually, it's oh. a, um, it's a made up language uh, from Star Trek, I think it is. Oh yeah, okay. Mr. Spock and yeah. Captain <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> you got any, any Star Trek fans? You me? know? Yeah. <laughs> I remember this language, but I know a fan that that that, that form. Okay, okay. So you've heard of it, yeah. I, I really don't know anything about the language, really. I don't know anything, but I know that it's a it's a language that they created uh, right. for for Star Trek. Okay, because you know you know Star Trek is is supposed to be like um, you know futuristic from and from other planets and things like that. So um, Klingon is, is a, it's, um, it's a language, it's a made up language that, you know, really um, has, you know, real words and things like that. And um, people have learned it, you know, it's, it's just for, you know, Star Trek friends, fans. Ah, oh, okay. For that reason, they are making like a comparison. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, okay. Comparison. okay. Comparison, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. A good fit. A good fit is um, when something. I'm going to tell you in Spanish. It's como que encaja bien. Okay, so it's like perfect, right where it's supposed to be. Like there's the exact, the exact um, place for it. Okay, that's a good fit. And managerial team, the, this just this comes from the word manager, right? Or managing, um, and it's just an adjective. Okay, coming from manager. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. All right, let's go on to the next. Number two. Okay, once again, just give me vocabulary right in the chat. Um, Warner, where is routinely feedback? No lo veo. Or is it separately? It is um, routinely in after final any feedback. feedback. You will communicate any feedback. Yes, but but so we're talking separately, right? Routinely and feedback, not just together. Oh, they are separate. Right? You will be required to routinely update. To separate. Yes, teacher, it's separate. Okay, okay, good. Okay. All right. Routinely comes from the word routine, right? So a routinely update, it means an update that is done as a routine, right? So it's not, um, it's not an update that needs to be done in this moment. It's something that is always done like constantly, like a routine. Feedback is like, um, almost like your comments about the risk, the like a report, like the comments um, after observing something, okay? Does that make sense? When you observe something, 
then you give your comments about it. And that is a feedback. Okay. All right, and upper, it means like high up, right? coming from up, right? So the upper, for example, um, I don't know, like let's say your back hurts, your back. So they will ask you if it's your upper back or your lower back, right? Upper or lower, right? So coming from the up, up part. Or in Spanish, we say superior. Okay. Okay, next we have the next words. Okay, go ahead and for number three, you can write the vocabulary. Only one word? Oh, okay. Okay, so I think those are the only two that I've seen. Okay, uh, guidance comes from a guide to guide something. So technical guidance means that the person is helping you, um, helping you through um, to, to do something complete in a technical, like about something technical, right? So to give technical guidance means to help somebody in um, about a technical situation, right? So how do you say guidance is better? Guianza or guía. Guía. Mm -hmm. Good. And proficient, the word proficient means uh, when you, you, know, um, you know something very well, that you are like an expert in that topic. So if you are technically proficient in Linux, it means that you are an expert in that, in that program. Okay. Okay. All right. Number four. Go ahead and write in the chat. Nothing? Really? Huh. Okay. Wonderful. All right. So in that case, let's go on to the last one. Oh, let me see. Okay. Um, somebody asked about uh, Norsoft, Sod. Norsod is just the name of the company. Okay, it's the name. It's just, it's just like saying, I don't know, Coca-Cola. It's just the, the name. Teacher in the chat is Anchorage. Oh, sorry, I missed that.
encourage. Encourage means um, to promote um, a certain um, a certain act attitude, a certain um, action. Okay, so that means um, it says not only are you required to encourage the best practices, it means that you are like promoting them. You're saying yes, this is good. This is good for you, right? How do you say encourage in Spanish? Uh, fomentar, or algo así. Fomentar, uh huh. Any others? Fomentar, alentar. Yeah, okay. All right. And the last one, number five. Go ahead and write in the chat any vocabulary for number five. Nothing? Oh. Quantificating. Could you write it in the chat? Yes. Okay, anything else? Okay. Oh, it's good. Anything else? No? Okay. Um, okay, so the first word is instead. It's, uh, it's actually not just instead, it's actually instead of. Okay, so it's not just instead, it should be instead of. That's the whole expression. Okay. And it, what it means instead of means um, one thing over the other. Okay, so um, you do one thing, you choose one thing, and you don't choose this thing. Okay, so you you prefer this. This that's instead of. In Spanish, how do you say instead of? In lugar de. In lugar de. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Pontificating. Pontificating is to express your opinion in a very dogmatic way, like saying, like, this is like the only way. Yeah, it's it, it, it makes people feel like very annoyed because you you're basically saying there is no other way this is the only way it's very dogmatic oh yeah Thanks. all right okay anything else no okay there you go all right. Um, okay, so after having done this, after having read the information, let's see if you can answer these questions. Is this true or false? 
it is more important to manage systems than people. Would you say this is true or would you say that it's false? For me, it's false. Oops. Well, I don't know, it's 50 50. <laughs> According to the reading, ah, false. Oh. Okay, sorry guys. Can you you can see my 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 screen, right? Yes. 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 No podían verlo anteriormente. No. No. Veíamos los párrafos recortados. Pero vieron los párrafos cuando estaba circulando, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Okay. Sí. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know. Si no, it was a waste of time. <laughs> okay. Um, it is, okay, so it is more important to manage systems than people. True or false? False. False, according to the ring. False. False. That is false. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. True. You guys agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. In order to be technically proficient, uh, uh, giving one's opinion is enough. False. 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 Okay. Encouraging teamwork is an important uh, is as important as being part of the team. Yeah. And finally, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. <laughs> no. False. 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 So if ever you are a manager in the future, you know how to be a good manager, right? See, it's not this, it's not enough to be a manager. You have to be a good manager, right? Okay, guys. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do for homework for Monday. Yes. You're gonna write a seven-line paragraph about your work experience and personal information, such as studies, experience, and other jobs. Okay. So you're going to write a paragraph and it has to have seven lines and make sure that you use time expressions. Okay. Okay. All right. And you have the information that you shared with your classmates at the beginning of the class about your application. You have all the information and that should be able to help you create the seven line paragraph. Okay. Okay. So guys, um, just a reminder that um, we uh, we need to have finished the um, homework number five by today at midnight, because tomorrow I have to report, okay? And tomorrow in the early morning, early hours in the morning. So they have to be, it has to be finished today, okay? Okay. okay. Right. And I'll quickly take attendance. Anna? Present. Andres, present. Edgar, Janet, present teacher, Katie, Irene, present, Ivan, present teacher, Johnny, Josue, present teacher, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Yuri. Present teacher. 
Carla? Present teacher. Melissa? Luis? Manuel? Present. Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? Present. Werner? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Francisco? Jenny? Okay. All right, guys. Teacher, me? No la mencioné, Fabiola. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Okay, Fabiola? Present teacher. No vino, teacher. No vino. Run away. I'm sorry, Fabiola. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. No but, problem. Okay. All right. So guys, that will be all for today. Don't forget, you got to finish the homework one, two, three, four, five, and the homework I assigned right now. Okay. Yes, all right. So guys, see you Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Happy birthday. Bye. Have, a, have a good night. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, se me olvidó. Okay. No soy yo, a teacher. No, no sé, no. No, era Irene. Creo que era la que le. Ah, ok. Irene. Bueno. Okay, teacher. Bueno, see no you te tomorrow. Te see you. Bye. See you Monday. Sorry, teacher. Jerry, eh, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? Me. Yeah. Ah, sí. Este, yo traté de completar una parte de la actividad y me da error. No me acepta la. Eh, ¿Cuál? Sobre. Sobre. Tengo que verlo aquí cuál es, pero sí es, por más que lo escribí de una forma o de otra, y no lo deja pasar. Pero ¿Cuál? hay un ejercicio, y quiero ver cuál es, pero son de los que, quiero ver si tengo aquí, es que se me descargó la computadora, y, pero sí hay un ejercicio que no lo deja pasar. Lo escribí incluso tal como lo escribió usted en el enunciado, en un papelito, en, como que sale en un papelito amarillo donde está hablando de ordenar frases. Oh. Mm, ordenar, crear una frase ahí. Hay una de esas frases que por más que la escribí, no la deja pasar. Porque al final me di cuenta que todas requieren un punto al final. Por el puntito no me las dejaba pasar. Le depuse el punto y al final me las dejó pasar. Pero hay una de ellas. Hay una de ellas que por más que la escribí, incluso tal como usted la escribió ahí en la clase, no la deja pasar. ¿Es esta? Ah, esa, esa, cabal, esa. Número cuatro. Creo que, mmm, creo que sí, por ahí andan, pero hay una que, ah. creo que la cuatro, ¿eh? Ok, vale. Eh, resulta que es, está bien sencillo. El problema es, es, un, es un error eh, de dedo, digamos, por así decirlo. Eh, en vez de utilizar la palabra staff, vamos a usar otra palabra que es similar, que es el sinónimo, digamos, de staff. Sí. Y esa es la palabra employee. Ay, por eso es que tiene la raya arriba ahí en el... <ríe> Qué por eso es, ¿verdad? Ah, pues, 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 okay. No eh, sé, en algún momento de la clase lo dijo y no lo escuché. Ah, está bien, no se preocupe. Bueno, ahí sí, pasé tonteando con esa cuestión. Pero bueno, entonces con ah, eso ya... Háganlo ahorita y para asegurarse que sí se lo acepta. Que fíjense que quiero ver aquí. Voy a, voy a, voy a ver. Que quedó guardado, creo. Si te gusta, lo veo yo después, porque lo veo aquí ni siquiera sé dónde está. 
Bueno, yo terminé hasta el, de la, el del currículo, algo así, parecía que sale uno. Ok, pero, pero, hasta pero ahí. ¿se, lo, ¿se lo acepta? ¿Se lo hace así? Eh, ya le digo si todavía no llegado a esta parte, por eso le digo, si gusta lo, lo resuelvo ahí, si no, solo es la única que me quedó mala. Vale, así que, okay. pero eh, ya no hay problema. No, no sabe qué es. Uh -huh. Employees es la palabra. Employees. Uh -huh. Ok. Como es employees, como es plural, entonces hay que quitarle una A. ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Voy a escribirla de esa forma y cualquier cosa ahí va a quedar mal ahí. <risa> ok, no bueno. Bueno, okay. bueno, ok, gracias. You're ah, welcome. Chao. Ok, tenga un buen fin de semana. Gracias. Ok. Chao. Yes, chao.